Oh boy, this just keeps getting worse. I was shown a screenshot from within the Skunkworks Discord. Here we can see Kate expecting unquestioning loyalty from all members. At first glance I asked myself, is this RP? Because if so, this could be put down to acting and shouldn't be treated seriously to begin with. So I did a bit of investigating to find out if this was genuine or just RP. I looked up Skunkworks on the RSI website and noticed a roleplay tag attached to the org. This gave me some hope that it was acting, but I wanted to find out more. So I entered the Skunkworks Discord and immediately noticed that to gain access and subsequently ask Kate about this, I had to put my Discord information on my RSI profile, something I refused to do for obvious reasons. So instead I messaged Kate to ask her directly if Skunkworks is RP or Milsim. Regardless of how you feel about DMs being linked, Kate is a public figure of sorts and therefore opens herself up to criticism when it comes to this sort of thing. Well, as we can see here, she states that her org is not RP. I then asked her to explain the screenshot of her demanding loyalty, and she replied with a politician's answer, ignoring the part that's highlighted. I was really hoping Skunkworks is an RP org because I hate to see this happen in and out of gaming. Now, I want you to take this with a pinch of salt as it's rumour and can't be verified at this time. I'm hearing these rumours from people who have enough separation between them that I'm leaning towards it being true. I've heard that she requires members to upload their footage from org activities to her and those who don't get a ban. I have also been told, under good authority, that people have been banned simply for being content creators in a purge that was claimed to have removed inactive people. Again, take this with a pinch of salt. I'm only mentioning this in case anyone can provide proof of this happening because the truth needs to be told. I hope these rumours are false. I really do. I'm no psychologist, but what's going on here is yet another example of an org leader having a god complex. Loyalty, like respect, cannot be demanded. It has to be earned and from what I've seen, Kate is just yet another example of someone who is incapable of leading unless she looks inwards and reevaluates her decisions and becomes a better person for it. The ego and decision making are questionable and I have little to no idea why people tolerate this.